And that was a double tap too. That appointment, that appointment was from a double tap. Always mean? dial your calls, always dial your leads twice because a lot of people don't answer the phone on the first time. Double tap, really? Just say double dial. <laughs> That's what I mean. I meant double dial. I don't think oh, I meant to say double tap. Not double tap. Double tap sounds much more, you know. Much more official. Much yeah, more much like more, the lingo. It's like a really like good I got the tip. lingo, yeah. Ooh, what's a double tap? It just means you dial the phone twice. Yeah. When the vo voicemail picks up, you hang up, you never leave a message, and then you dial the phone number again right away. And a lot of times people will answer because they figure it must be a call that is important. It wasn't just a mistake, whatever. And no, you don't ever, ever, ever leave a voicemail message. Ever, ever, never. I never leave voicemail messages because then I'm going to call you back. Never going to. Hi Dana, my name is Angela and I'm calling about the letter you sent back in um, about the mortgage protection coverage for your mortgage with um, Quicken. Uh, yeah, 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 no, um, you sent in a letter regarding the mortgage protection life insurance or maybe your wife did. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks. Bye.
racing. <laughs> he was racing a car. <laughs> but I called him twice, so he answered the phone. Sorry. Okay, so this guy said on here, and this double is probably going to be my... This is going to be my... Yeah, double tap. Yeah. Even if they're racing a car. Um, so this one is a good example. We only have one exit left, so I'm only going to be able to make one more call. And he put a little note on here, or his wife did. To whom it may concern, how many of these letters do I have to send in? Please check your records. Blah, blah, blah. Connie, what's her name? Ignore it. When people put on here, please leave a message, or please email me, or please do this, or please do that, I ignore it. I don't... I, I just don't pay any attention to it. And I certainly don't make mention of it when I when they pick up the phone. Some of you, I think, do. Don't. Ignore it. Most of the time, I would say 99.99999% of the time, they for, they don't even remember that they've written anything on there, let alone that they've sent the letter back in. So, uh, I mean, it's just don't, don't, you don't, you don't have to always address the elephant in the room. This is uh, Angela Najjar, and I'm calling about um, the letter that we sent you regarding the mortgage protection coverage for your mortgage with U.S. Bank. And you had called in um, on, it uh, looks like the 10th, and I just needed, they assigned your file to me, and I just needed a little more information so I can put together your options on this. Okay. And um, your date of birth, 225-72, right? Do you smoke or use any tobacco products, vape, or anything like that? Okay. And are you married, Tristan? Okay. And um, what is your husband's first name? Michael. And what's Michael's date of birth? Okay. Um, does he smoke? Okay. And um, Tristan, like, what's your height and weight? Okay, and how about Michael, or even if you can kind of ballpark it? Okay, and um, any medical problems for yourself, or for, or for either one of you, actually? Okay, either one of you take any prescription medications? Okay, and it, but it's low dose for anxiety? Okay. Uh, low dose. Okay, and um, in the last like five or ten years, um, anything more substantial for either one of you? Surgery, heart attack, cancer, stroke, anything like that? Oh, good. Okay, so listen, Tristan, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put together like 10 or 15 different options for you guys, and I'll pick the best three or four out of those. Um, now my office has me, um, in your area on, uh, Tuesday evening. I have an opening Tuesday evening at like four o'clock or six o'clock, or I could do Wednesday. 
Um, which of those do you think would work better to go over these options with the both of you? It's basically both. So it's, um, it's life insurance that would basically cover the mortgage so that if God forbid you didn't come home one day or Michael didn't come home one day, this would basically pay off or pay down your mortgage. But it also, um, it also has other things built into it. So if you become critically ill or you become terminally ill, um, this also, it, it's life insurance that you can use when you're still alive as well. So, um, all the details to that stuff I'll go over with you guys when we sit down. Yeah. Or I could do Wednesday. What do you guys work like to like pretty normal hours? Okay. So I usually work most when other people are not working. That's just the nature of my, you know, of my business. So um, if there's a time in the evening, like if six o'clock doesn't work, but seven o'clock does, we can do seven o'clock. You know what I mean? I can do 530. Okay. So I have you at, uh, 21042. Is it Clivus? Okay. Um, do I need to know anything like gate codes or big dogs or anything like that? Okay. Oh, that's, that's fine. Some people, like I showed up at a house today and she had two like, they were like pit bull looking type dogs and they just kind of like roamed around free. And so when I opened the car door, like one of them jumped into the car and I was like, okay, shouldn't, that would have been a good thing to know. Okay, perfect. Um, I will be driving a, um, a white Prius and I have real short brown hair um, and I'll have a name badge on that says Angela. So at least you'll remember the white, the white Prius and I'll have a name badge on. And uh, I will see you and Michael Tuesday at 530. Thanks, Tristan. Have a good weekend. Bye. That's how you book an appointment. Even when you're in the car. But I think we're going to miss our exit.